cool. Hello, my name is Jeff and I'm with Schaefer's. In this section, we're going to talk about the different TV technologies, both advantages and disadvantages. In the first section, we're going to cover plasmas. The advantages of plasmas is that right out of the box, they have the most natural color. Included with that are nice deep blacks. What that means to you is that the color black gets closer to a true black and we are able to see definition in dark areas. The other big advantage to the plasmas is that they are very smooth on motion, meaning no matter how fast the TV image is moving, it looks nice and smooth. The disadvantages of the plasma are really only one. They have a small issue with what is called image retention. The bottom line with that is you don't want to pause an image on there and walk away for a few hours. A little bit of false information out there about plasmas. In the first generation of plasmas, there were quite a few issues. Those problems have been worked out. One false bit of information out there is that plasmas need to be recharged every few years. This is completely false as plasmas are a great technology good for years in the future. The next section we're going to cover are LCD TVs. From a basic glance between a plasma and an LCD, the average consumer will not tell much of a difference. However, they are available in a wider variety of sizes, anywhere from 13 to 14 inches, clear up to 70 inches, although most manufacturers stop around 55 inches. The advantages of the LCD technology, the biggest being that it is available in a much brighter image. Um, so it does very well in, in well-lit rooms. The other advantage is that you do not have to be concerned with image retention on it. The disadvantages of the LCD technology is you do have to be a little concerned with the motion on it. They do have an issue called motion blur. Certainly some models do better with this than others, but again the plasma is going to be the best as far as motion goes. Um, the other disadvantage is the black levels are not going to be as deep as they are on the plasma technology. Final technology we're going to talk about is the DLPs. The DLPs are TVs that are going to be available in just the large sizes, anywhere from a 60 to an 82 inch TV. These TVs are known for having their best bang for the buck. The advantage of that, of course, is you're able to get a much larger TV for less money. It does have a very natural picture right out of the box. However, the disadvantages to the DLP technology is it is a little deeper than a typical flat panel, so it's not something we're going to be able to mount on our wall. The other disadvantage is when we get off to the side, the image is going to dim a little bit. It's not going to be terrible, but it's not going to be as good as straight on. The final drawback to the DLP technology is it does have a bulb that is blowing up that image, able to give us a much larger image, but that bulb does have a limited lifespan, much like a light bulb. 